hello guys you're welcome back so here is the truth today untold story of the post the queen ex-queen of Uni of ife queen naomi wrote on her instagram page as many reactions showed it and many people were actually wondering what really happened and why she put up why she put up that post in the first place and in a now deleted post you know her sister also made mention also commented under the comment section and she said she should awaken the sleeping dog she should awake the sleeping dog where she also replied in the comment section so this is the old truth according to kemi felani we um according to kemi felani that went ahead to to dig more information about the whole process so according to kemi felani i said earlier in the week former queen chile kwala naomi Ogun, she shared on her instagram page um a story that she was assaulted and harassed by a deputy commissioner of police at the assistant inspector general of police zone 17 in nakure undo state and now kemi felani has now gathered some information on the lingering issue as i said at first her brother binro ogunsheyi was allegedly swindled or allegedly swindled some individuals who decided to drag him to an Akure police station in order to retrieve their unpaid funds from him. And with the arrest of Binro, Olori Naomi quickly stormed the police zona headquarters to effect the release of her brother. And the exchange wife of the Oni Ofife was said to have arrived there in company with her eight who were said to be unruly in their conduct and naomi was said to have thrown caution to the winds and bragged that her brother wouldn't rot in jail and she, he should be released and you do not feel we are surprised afterwards when she quickly posted it. she posted it on her instagram page and obviously she painted the oni as the unseen finger behind her family's ordeal and the mom of one who had left the palace in 2021 also stated that her brother Gbenro was being arrested was being harassed because of her and in the now deleted post on her instagram page where she said no man deserves to be bullied walking away from abuse should not take away your fundamental woman rights and dignity as a woman that just happened with the assistant commissioner of police at the aig's office zone 17 in nakure is a pointer to the fact that the system has failed womanhood again does it mean that walking away from a relationship mean you should commit suicide and she says more updates coming and this didn't even stop them many people stormed the comment section to um give their opinion in fact to say to what the um, queen naomi said in fact and in, among those that commented was a sister a sister also took to the comment section to also in fact say a lengthen word to a sister you know and in the post the um sister sister the the, um, the sister to the queen queen naomi said that her sister that it is time for her to awake the sleeping dog that no woman deserves one percent of what her sister went through and you know she said that still going through and you have really tried and enough is enough it's about time the sleeping dog awakes and now me who reacted under the post pointed out how her speaking up would be a rude awakening as she also noted that she is the type who would rather die when punished than to go ahead to reveal it as she says that it will be a rude awakening you know when i am pushed i would rather die thank you all for standing by me through this difficult period they don't know what's going on but god will be faithful so that was what said and many people even didn't know what really happened and many people were actually waiting 
to know what really happened as she said there is more updates coming from her but it's just a, a shock that she went ahead to delete the post in fact not to leave a trace of what happened or because maybe because more information or i don't know so i will leave that to you so though naomi wanted to be treated as the wife of only of ife and the police insisted on treating the matter on its merit without interference and putting the record straight adewale adeyemi what was to be a contractor and one of the petitioners who had ensured the arrest of the Onis ex-wife, ex, uh, ex-wife brother, explained that it was contracted by Binro to supply sand for the filling of a project which the Onis company was handling. And Adewale substantiated his point with a petition letter written by his lawyer to the AIG on those zone 17 in Akure. And it reads in part, it, it was a client brief that the petition was approached by a serious swindler, one Mr. Benro, who bought it to plot of land from a client without paying, and all our effort to reach him pave prove abortive as he has as absconded. According to the petition and other reports, Benro fraudulently bought the said land on behalf of Ojoja Pan Africa Limited but refused to pay the owners of the land. It was learned that Benro, under the pretense of working for the Oni, convinced the landowners, including one Iyaiko, to release parcels of land for the project, and he allegedly got Iyaiko to issue him a receipt to the tune of $55 million. Meanwhile, the contractor, Mr. Adeyemi Adewale, in another letter written to the Ondo State Commissioner of Police, Prophet that his life has also been threatened by Mr. Benro as a tie to the case, a case of cheating and misconduct likely to cause breach of peace against Mr. Oluwa Benro Akin Folarin Ogunsheyi calls for investigation. Adewale also disclosed how over 4 million got trapped in Benro's hands. As the letter read, I started the work and Mr. Oluwa Benro Ogunshi refused to pay my money despite that I also needed to pay other workers that worked for me. The Commissioner of Police, sir, it will interest you, sir, that Mr. Benro Ogunshi had been threatening my life that I should not ask for the money again. And to confirm the petitions and other documents at her disposal, a reporter put a call through to the same Wale Adeyemi on Wednesday, who discloses that he had truly petitioned the police when the said Benro refused to pay him, and he has also dragged him before the court of law. As the father said that what infuriated him most was the flagrant rejection of all peace moves he had tried to make with him. And similarly, an 85-year-old woman and the head of a TBT Faye family, popularly known as Yaeko, also in a phone chat on Wednesday said that she was allegedly duped by Gwenro as he failed to pay her 20 million meant for the second land purchased from her. And meanwhile, the former queen mother, Prophetess Ogunshei, took to Facebook to cause enemies behind her son's hurdle. Already the post had been brought down also on Instagram. So that was the long story and awaited story behind the whole issue of the untold crisis happening presently at the Onu between Onu Ofife and the ex queen, Queen Naomi. So don't forget to drop your comments at the comment section below and also don't forget to click on the notification but don't forget this report is being taken from kemi filani and also from city blog news thank you stay safe and peace out